that's no moon. Clear May 27. We are opening the magnetic field. Hello there, and welcome to Docking Bay 327. Before we get started today, I just want to give a huge thanks to all of you for watching my videos, for liking, for commenting, and subscribing. We're all very busy these days, and the fact that you take a few minutes out of your busy day to watch my content really means more than I can ever say. I appreciate it very much. So today, we're going to be looking at how I made the animations for my starport window. Now I did make a video on how I created the the frame and the wall but I've had a lot of interest in how I actually made the animations that are playing behind the the frame. Now I don't really have any pictures of what it looks like but it's just a, a TV mounted vertically behind this frame. I strategically cut out all the shapes in the frame so that the animation would show through and get the result that you see behind me. I've had the same animations playing for over a year now so I'd like to create something new for me to look at and I thought what better time than now to record it and I'll show you guys how I go through the process of creating these animations and I'll also give you a little uh, look under the hood as to how it's hooked up it's nothing fancy, uh, but I will show you all that as well. So let's fire up After Effects and get started. Here we have a composition for one of my current Starport animations in Adobe After Effects. Rather than start from scratch, I can just adjust things and save it as a new comp. So I placed a graphical overlay of the Starport window frame on top of the animation layers so I know where to place each element. You see, this is one animation with multiple motion graphics. We'll start by adjusting the star field. This is created by using a particle system pointed at the camera. I'm going to make the stars a little more sparse and a bit smaller. The other motion graphics I actually purchased on a website called Video Hive. I'll put a link in the description below, but it has hundreds of options to choose from. Now, we're going to update the radar. The HUD animation pack that I purchased has several to choose from. Let's see. There. Yeah, that one will do nicely. Since I want to keep the same location, I simply hold down the ALT key while I drag the new element over the current element, and it will just replace the animation, but keep it in the same spot so it still shows through the circular cutout correctly. Then we'll change out the white bars for orange to match that Cloud City look. Finally, we'll replace the two rectangle cutouts with new more complex animations from that same HUD pack. Adjust the size to fit the cutouts for each element and we're ready to render out our new animation. Okay, so I promised I'd show you how the TV's hooked up and plays the animation. Hopefully you're not disappointed by how simple this is. Sometimes the easiest solution is the best solution. So here's the starport window. I ran an HDMI cable from the TV down into the cabinet here below where it connects to a media player with an external hard drive. I disconnect the hard drive and bring it over to my main computer, plug it in and then transfer the new animation file onto the hard drive. Then I take the hard drive back over and hook it back up to the media player. From there, I use the remote control to scroll down and select the new animation to play. Set it to infinite loop and we're good to go. I'll change all my lighting to match the Cloud City orange and just like that, I have a brand new environment to enjoy.
that's it. That's how I created all of my animations for my starport window. Hopefully this was helpful for you. I know I went through everything pretty quickly, so if you're not that familiar with After Effects, I highly recommend videocopilot.net. Uh, there's a lot of great tutorials there that can help you get started on the basics of After Effects. If you have any other questions for me, feel free to drop those in the comments below. And until next time, build with what you know and figure out the rest. Wow, look at all those new subscribers. And 3,500 views on my Haunted Carbonite video just from last week? Can that be right? My Jedi mind trick. You will subscribe to Docking Bay 327. It worked. I really am a Jedi.